Hey guys, Old Guy Gaming here, back again with another MTG Arena video, and tonight we're going to be doing Mono Blue Lotus. So this deck has been making the rounds, uh, apparently, from all of the other YouTubers and all of the other players, especially in Arena. I've seen this deck quite a bit, and it's an interesting deck. Um, normally, I'm not much for control decks, but this one isn't necessarily control. It's got an interesting alternate or uh, win condition, which... I found intriguing, so I decided to give this one a try. So let's go ahead. This is going to complete the uh, the mono devotion builds for, for Theros Beyond Death. We're going to move on to some other decks with some of the other cards after that. But let's get this one out of the way, because I do genuinely believe this is probably the strongest of the pack. Um, let's kind of get into the win condition first. So we can see where the deck's going. And this is going to be about Thesis Oracle. This is a 1-3 for 2. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, look at the top X cards, where X is your devotion to blue. Put up to one of them on top of your library and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. If X is greater than the equal number, equal the, greater than or equal to the number of cards in your library, you win the game. So the entire deck is basically built around building as much blue devotion as humanly possible, casting this, winning the game. So that's where the Nyx Lotus has come in. And that's where all the mono blue comes in. And the rest of it, um, you can also blow this out through with uh, Gadwick as well uh, to blow through your library as quickly as possible. Drop this, win the game. That's the whole point. So you'll have interesting untapped mechanics with, uh, well, let's kind of get into it. So quarter monitor, the whole purpose for this thing even being in the deck, it is a 1-4, which is a great little blocker. But when it enters the battlefield, untap target artifact. The Nyx Lotus is going to be the reason why you're going to want to do that so that you can untap it for multiple times to draw an absurd, uh, absurd amount of cards. Fae of Wishes, always fun to kind of have this one in uh, your back pocket. So you can choose a card from outside the game. So let's kind of look and see what the sideboard looks like, because that's really what Fae of Wishes is in there for. Um, sideboard in here is going to be an unsummon in case you've got an issue. Manifold Key, if you really want your Cavaliers to go in and win the game for you. Shadow Spear can go on the Cavaliers. Oodles of Fun. Um, a few Aether Gusts. Negate. Uh, Jace is also in there can kind of help you get to that alternate win condition as well. Uh, Spark Double, because having multiple of the Planeswalker in here... Or, or the god, I mean, is is just absurd. Another Agent of Treachery and some Mass Manipulation. So that's really, like, that's kind of your... Um, Everything as you can possibly think of, any card that you could need in a blue deck, that's all going to be in there. Uh, four Brazen Bars, because why not? Super annoying, it helps slow down the pace. Um, Cairo is going to be in here as well, again, being able to untap the Nyx Lotus more than once to be able to do that with Corridor Monitor, be able to just, again, absorb, absorb a whole bunch of cards out of your library as quickly as possible. Leyland of Anticipation, you prefer to have at least one of these on the draw whenever you get it, but whenever it comes into, if it's in your opening hand, you get it with it for free. If not, uh, you may cast spells as though they had flash. Um, it's going to be kind of cool to be able to draw cards off of this one. So, Thesa of Deep Dwelling, this is where your other alternate win condition comes in. She has the 6-5 for 4. You're going to have the Devotion because you have oodles of blue mana going around here. Um... At the beginning of your end step, exile up to one other uh, target creature, then return that creature into the battlefield under your control. This is where you can keep going with Thesis over and over and over again um, until you can kind of just blow through your library and win the game. That's what it's really there for. Of course, I've mentioned it multiple times. Of course, the Nyx Lotus for four uh, comes into play tapped. However, you can choose a color, blue, uh, and add any amount of color that equal to your devotion in that color, which is a lot. Uh, we also have Cavalier uh, Gales for the mid game to kind of make sure you're getting in there. It also does help its ability. Um, draw three cards, put two in the top. top. You, again, it helps you try to find the cards that you need. Agent of Treachery is out there, of course, to be super annoying um, and grab anything. You're going to have tons of mana, you might as well, uh, and grab anything that you feel that you need off of your opponent. And Gadwick the Wizened, again, is whenever it's X, it's three and an X, and it allows you to draw as many cards as you want. And whenever a blue uh, spell uh, comes into play, you can tap permanent uh, or permanent controls. So, Mana Base is really easy. Cast of Ventress, two of them, 18 islands. And then there's four Fabled Passage. This is mostly to thin out the deck because it kind of helps you get rid of some of the lands. And no other purpose. Obviously, you're not playing multiple, multiple cards. I see a lot of players using this ability just to thin out their decks to make sure they're really playing with a 56-card deck as opposed to a 60-card deck. So, without further ado, let's go play some games with it. Um... Since I do have some confidence in this one, we're going to go ahead and play ranked with it. So here we go. Mono Blue Devotion. Uh, if you like the content and like the video, by all means, like and subscribe. Helps out the channel. I've had a huge, huge influx over the last couple of days. I guess every time a new set comes out, I always get a bump of new subscribers. So thank you guys. I do appreciate it. Um, and leave a comment down below. How would you build your Mono Blue Devotion deck? This does seem to be the build for Mono Blue Devotion. Let's make sure our little Wolfie is blue. 
I haven't gotten the owl yet. I think I'm going to save that for the next paycheck or two. I always kind of like wait to see if it's actually worth it to get into the Mastery Pass every time I end up getting it. Um, sure. Sure. We shall keep that. So what are we dealing with here? Mono green. That's another big one I'm seeing a lot of. Not my... Oh, no, maybe not. This might not be mono green. Don't get me wrong. Our real grazer is a good card for mono green. But there we go. This is going to be Simic. Oh, boy. This is going to be fun. So we do have our wing condition in our hand. Do have Brazen Borrower floating out there. Fay of Wishes if we want it. But this is actually going to be a challenge because they're going to counter every single thing we do. Which is going to be super irritating. Interesting. Maybe this... No, this does feel like the Simic Ramp deck. It really does. So let's go ahead and drop the Corridor Monitor just so we have a little blocker. Hmm. I'm trying to feel which way to go with this. Risen Reef. Yeah. I haven't seen this deck. I remember when this card came out in M20 and everyone said it was, you know, insane. It still is. Don't get me wrong. It genuinely is. It's genuinely a pain in the neck, this card still. So, not nearly as oppressive as some of us may have thought. I'll admit that I was on the train whenever this card first came out that I was like, good, how did they print this at Uncommon, no less? If this were a Mythic Rare, it would still be worth it. It'd be a $40 Mythic Rare. At least whenever it first came out in M20. Maybe not that much. Cavalier of Thorns. That's a pretty Cavalier of Thorns you've got there. So I think we're going to pocket Brazen Bar. Oh, he's got all the good stuff. Agent of Treachery, too. And Quasi-Duplicate. Yeah, this is not your traditional Simic Flash deck. So we're going to drop Fable Passage. Go and grab that island. Sure. Thin out the deck a little. And we shall wait. We're going to wait so that we can Brazen Bar his Cavalier Thorns back to his hand. So he can at least not attack with it. Sure. And the absurd card draw and land drop continues with the Simic deck. My suspicion is he's going to come swinging in with Cavalier of Thorns. Come on. Quasi duplicate. It's a shame that's not there anymore. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that stink? <laughs> that's why that card's so annoying. <laughs> oh, that was cute. <laughs> sure. I'm sure he's a little frustrated at that. I would be. So let's go thinning and reshuffling the deck is always helpful. So I think I'm going to tap this, untap it. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to draw six cards or draw three cards anyway. There's the Lotus we're looking for. And that increases our devotion. It's 
So I think I might Faye of Wishes to go out and get mass manipulation after he does this. Yeah, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Hmm. How much can I pull off? One, two, three, four, untap it. Five. Yeah, I think we'll be able to pull this off. We're not really burning through our deck like we want to be. This next, this game's actually taking a little bit longer than I thought it was going to. I thought we'd be dead by now. He's definitely taking his time to think about it. Sure. Hmm. He is thinking about it. Oh, this is even funnier. I should absolutely mass manipulation that, that, and that. He's definitely tapped down. There's our helpful win condition. Let's see if we can pull this off. I think we can. So how much do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. Maybe. I'm not seeing it though. So we're gonna go Castle Ventress. We are going to untap that. We're going to untap that. So currently we have four. Uh, tap that down. And let's go get the EE old mass manipulation. And let's draw that. Tap that down. Hmm, let's go get our own Tessa and say no. So we are going to take a little bit of a bite here. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? You're just giving us more stuff to steal. Yeah, I don't understand that one at all. I'm absolutely willing to block. To say, well, they didn't even, I mean, that helps. So what do we got? One, two, five, six. Yeah, this has already done its job. So, sure. So we're going to block here. We're going to block here. And we're going to let that go through. That does kill my devotion, though. But still three. So it gives me one creature before I start tapping mana. Yep, no, we're good. Hmm. Hydroid Crisis. Again, he's just casting all this stuff that we're going to want to take. Okay. This will be interesting. This will absolutely be interesting. Not sure why he. I mean, I'm sure he's going for it for the card draw, but.
So if I drop this, that'll give me two extra mana here when I tap it. That makes it ten. Spend two to gain four. Probably not a bad idea. Yep, this should be interesting. Okie dokie. So, we're going to go here. Let's drop that. Um, tap. I don't know. Tap that. That that it matters. It genuinely doesn't. What card do I want? Another brazen bar will be nice. So we're going to tap that for blue for six. Untap that. Tap that for blue for 12. So it's one, two, three, four. So that leaves me eight. That's four permanents. Five, six, seven, eight permanents of his. Do I got that right? One, two, three, four. Sure. So one, two, three, four, 12. So six. So we're going to go one and two and three and four and five and six. And we're going to tap that. Yeah, that worked out. We're going to untap that just because we can. And we're going to swing with his own stuff. Mm, yeah, no, we're good. So now I'm curious to see where he goes from here. Again, this one's taking really long time. Okay. Cavalier Gales, cool. Cavalier Gales is going to go back to his hand. That's not going to be able to block. Yeah, no, we'll be all right. And then we're just going to start, we're going to cast our own Tessa and start bouncing back our Oracle back and back and back. This should be interesting. Hmm. I'm curious to see where this goes. How many cards we got left? 41? This should be interesting. Man, this game's taking forever. You're going to get one game with this deck. It's going to be Simic on Mono Blue, but what an interesting tale to tell.
Should be interesting. He does have the life gain on us, and that is going to be a pain. What we need is another Gadwick. There are four in the deck. Well, that's useful. Uh, we'll tap that. Um, how do we want to do this? So we're going to pull that out. I'm going to return that to his hand. Uh, we'll block that out. Uh, let's go ahead and untap that. Tap that out. Hmm, can't tap anything else. Hmm. Sure. What else do we got going for us? Hmm. I think it's time to start swinging. So we're going to swing here. We're going to swing there. Uh, we're going to swing there. Draw more cards. Ooh, cool, Cavalier. Continue to tap creatures, sure. Sure, keep that. Um, let's put it that and that. I've got oodles of mana. I must have cast a ley line. Holy cow. All the things that can be done. Uh, we are going to bounce that. Choose up to one card. Which one do I really want? I really want a Gadwick. So I'm curious. We've both got unlimited card draw. <laughs> practically. Not really that concerned with it. Sure. Sure. We'll return the Cavalier since he can't cast it now. Uh, we shall tap her. Even though she's not going to be really going to be useful at all. I think we're getting close. I think we're getting close. We might, I mean, it's taken almost 30 minutes for this game. This is the reason why these, these games do not particularly excite me, because they do take a long time to come to fruition. However, sure. I 
And how does it read? If X is greater than the number of cards in your library, we're going to fix that here in a second. I think we might get it to go off. It's taking a long time, but we can draw 36 cards from our 36 card. Yep, that's how this is going to work. So we only we just need to be able to drop this card, drop this down to like one, to win. So we again, it has taken a while, but we will get this down. Come on. There's nothing to attack with, not really. What's he going to bounce? The Cavalier? Probably. So we just need to make sure that we have only 17 cards in our library to win the game. It's like he's on the same bet here. I think we might have this. Let's see how this goes. Let's just tap that just for good measure. So we're going to be able to draw 20 cards, which is 16. Yep. We should be able to do this. So we're going to cat. Hang on. We're going to tap that. We're going to make this, I don't know, 30. Let's make it 25, just to make sure. So tap. Uh, that one. Um, let's drop that. How much mana do we have left over? Uh, let's drop her. Just because it's funny. <laughs> he sees where it's going. He finally sees where it's going. Holy cow. 28 minutes for that one. But we did finally get it to go. For the record, how that would have worked at the end of turn, I would have bounced back the... Uh, bounce back... To, oh, darn it. Let's go back to it. I can see it. We would have bounced that back to our hand, dropped it back out, and won the game on the alternate win condition. Ooh. You know what? I'm going to... Sitting through that long game, I will reward you with a pack opening. But yeah, so that's exactly how the deck is supposed to work. Where is it? The Oracle. That's what it is. Oh man, I totally drew, drew a blank on that one. I'm having I'm having that kind of night. Um, so yeah, Thesis Oracle would have come into play. X would have been greater than the cards in our library, and we'd have won in an alternate win condition. <laughs> so anyway, so since this one's so long, I'm going to cut this one off because it was only one game. I do apologize, but it was a long one. So uh, and so I do hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe always helps out the channel. And until next time, guys, we shall see you in the arena. This video was brought to you in no small part by our patrons. If you would like to help out the channel, go to www.patreon.com slash oldguygamingmtga and thank you for your support.